we are... Nope, that's the wrong one. Hello and welcome to the Overwatch Oasis League. We got a great matchup to for you tonight in the week 12 of our tier 2 league as Rogue Knights face off against Iconic Noobs. Uh, I'm Charles Tang, joined by Kitty tonight. How are we doing, Kitty? Pretty good. It's a bit of a last minute commentary, so... Yeah, thanks for subbing in. Late. Oh my goodness. Yeah, of course. I mean, stuff happened. CB had stuff to do, so... Yeah. I was going to be left alone floundering all of the attention just to myself. Sounds awful. <laughs> Absolutely terrible. Where the heck is Kenny McCormick right now? Is it Kengu? That's not... I think Kengu is someone else. Okay. Um, so Rogue Knights and Iconic Noobs here are going to be a very interesting matchup. Rogue Knights one of the stronger teams here in the league, but... Um, I've gotten a little bit unlucky in a couple places, uh, especially losing some really tight games. Uh, they're 3-2 and two so far this season. Both their losses has come as um, on map 5s. Uh, they've lost two games 3-2. to two. Uh, But all their wins have looked pretty solid. Uh, a, a, a sweep and a 3-1 and a 3-2. So um, when they lose, they lose close. And when they win, they win big, which is a pretty promising sign going forward. And on the side of Iconic Noobs, Kitty, this is a 5-0 and team, undefeated so far this season, clean, um, uh, well actually, sorry, tied for first with throwing for content uh, with just a single map differential difference separating those two. So, um, Rogue Knights lost lot, lots to fight for here in a very tightly packed midfield, but uh, Iconic Noobs as well, just trying to create some space between themselves and throwing for content. I will just be needing the readies here. I thought it was Kenny McCormick, not. It's a different Kangu. Different <laughs> Kenny. Uh, There's for those too many you... Kennys, too many Joshes. Yeah, for those of you trying to figure out uh, how Throwing for Content are doing right now, go to go to twitch.tv slash Overwatch Oasis Stream 2, where we have uh, Holy Chuckster and Temple bring you Bushido Banzai facing off against Throwing for Content. Like I said, Throwing for Content, Iconic do separated by only one map win, so how that match plays out is going to defect us for sure. Um, and Bushido Banzai here... Not doing so hot this season, so could look like a pretty solid game for throwing for content. Uh, so definitely keep an eye out on both sides. Well, I think too, Bushido Banza has been moderately getting better. I think a couple of weeks ago they did get their first map win, and last week they did get their first match win, if I'm correct. Yeah, no, definitely a bit of a revival coming online for Bushido Banzai, so really excited to see how they do against Throwing for Content later. Actually, no, sorry, Bushido Banzai lost this battle on Tengu's. I'm thinking, it's just, their names are very similar to me, so. <laughs> we got some, we got some weave, Never mind. weave names in okay. Tier 2, no worries. Alright, we do got both ready, so let's go right in. Alright, jumping on to Busan here. Uh, lots of different compositions are viable here, and we know that Rogue Knights are extremely comfortable on the dive. Uh, Korean wannabe already being extremely toxic in Twitch chat, Kitty. Um, oh my goodness. Saying words we will that I see could... you in questions and suggestions. Yeah, Dude, words that I could never them? repeat out of my own mouth. That's that's definitely not something that I would ever say and put into the world. <laughs> I, we do have my pause and you're on camera, so I can watch everything freely for once. I can't believe I'm on camera. This is going to be such an awful game. Nobody <laughs> is going to have a good time. Just make sure you give them the, that first person perspective every once in a while. No. I, uh, I, I like to go to the top of the map. Uh, go above the and point. And just leave it there? Yeah, well, I just go like directly <laughs> top down. So you know like how in the Overwatch League they have the views as like the diagram of the full map that's what I'm trying to do so I'm, I, I'm oh, only going no. to see the top of the map and just pan sideways <laughs> only top oh, I down can see views it from for here. us tonight oh, yep. no. <laughs> uh, so on the side of rogue knights it looks like it's going to be a Okay, maybe there's a debate, but it looks like a ball of reset is going to come out as Iconic Three, Noobs are going to two, run out on one. the Brawl Round composition. No, you, you were debated. The diva. Inside for you, Ravity. 
All right, Eldritch trying to set up here on the left here as Ranch and Muffin are going to take their tank line out uh, to play here. Uh, into the back. Oh, very early turnaround already. Lots of swinging getting for Ranch and Preston. A lot of damage being sucked in here by the Vineheim. Mili Lacroix is going to get the first elimination of the round here as your Ravity is going to go down. But hey, good so far for Rogue Knights. They have a lot of presses on the point. They're also teaser, so the only one that's going to be able to contest. Last round, Ace going to pick up Jay Money, uh, who of course is uh, a making their debut tonight here for Iconic Noobs alongside Lee Ratty. Both the new players in the starting lineup. Jay Money, I believe, is a Masters player as well. So Iconic Noobs have had to do some pretty advanced algebra to make sure that McCurry is able to fit in the lineup within SR constraints. I'm really liking that I kind of need to all stay together just so they don't get really uh, hit hard by the side. Yeah, I kind of need to try their best to enable this uh, brawl place out. Little Kurt is going to get knocked down by that Echo uh, Earth Shatter coming out online here, but it is going to amount to nothing. Beezer is going to get beamed down, but just is able to get out. The Valkyrie is going to do that as well, but the grab is there to answer. Muffin Pyro making sure to close out this fight as well, and it looks like Rogue Knights are going to have to fall back and regroup. I think I kind of just had to use quite a bit of ults. No, actually just the grab and coalescence. They'll have a lot of ults still online. Shatter and both DPS ults are the beat. Flight routine yeah. activated. <laughs> and Rogue Knights are going to come back serious. only with a couple here. I see the swap from Kegel on to Farah now. Not sure how that will play out with J-Money on the free. Yeah, Kengo and the far is interesting for them to uh, commit to the uh, double uh, flyer composition here. Uh, last round, halfway to another duplicate, finding an Earth Shatter kill last time. As an early Shatter is going to come up from Branch of Pressure, not able to find anybody, so Mines are going to be committed here. Sam Beer is going to be out as well from Pog. Uh, we are nearing last fight territory as Fat Cat swoops in with a crucial resurrection onto last round as well. Once again, still looking extremely healthy for Iconic Noobs. Rogue Knight's just unable to make the dive stick. Kengu is going to take down Muffin Parmer, but that's most likely going to be too little too late as well. And that well. pin, not too fast. Yeah. Oh, Diva Bomb here could be the world difference. J Money is going to get taken down, but uh, it's just the Diva of your Ravity left here to touch last round, struggling to get to the point on time to punch here. But with a little bit of help from Beezer, the contest is going to be there. Koala's committed as well. You Ravity, there's no eating that. Last round is going to go down as well. Round suppression with the Rhinehammer is going to clean everything up. It looks like it's just clean up duty here on the side of Iconic Noobs who are able to secure the first point 100-0. A very convincing start to the series here, Kitty. Yeah, I think here Rogue Knight should have committed to switching off to a brawl. I know that Eldridge and Uravity are both really good at brawl. Ready for yeah, Rogue Knights have always that... fancied themselves as a dive team, but you're absolutely right, Kitty. They're very comfortable whenever we see them on the brawl, and it looks like that switch is going to come out. Oh, yep, there it is. All straight ahead to brawl. Kitty, need your help. Can you remind me what key binding Overwatch Awaits League has a switch to first person view? We're just um, third person. I believe it is. Up? No, it's you do the spectating link, so like left and right on the keypad, and then right. to get out of it, you press X. Yes, but how do I switch to first person instead of third person after we get to the spectator? Yeah, please go to I'll ask you later. Last round is going to take it down, be taken up oh, very, very early. This brawl is not quite working out. A good pin coming out from uh, Eldritch here, though, and uh, Rogue Knights are going to be forced to back out here. Really, really good start on the side of Iconic News. Fat Cat going down is going to be a painful one as well. The free contest is not going to come out here because of a very, very efficient stagger kill here. This is crazy that Iconic News just pushed them almost all the way to their spawn. Touching Swan door at first flight, you love to see it. Iconic Noobs are 5 and 0 for a reason so far. The wall coming up is not going to find anybody here. Ooh, Rancid Preston getting extremely aggressive here and is going to pay off a chunk of damage. It's going to take it up on Eldritch. The Earth Shatter is going to come out. Huge Finding shatter. two. That's absolutely enormous here. Beezer is going to make Rancid Preston pay for that arrogance, but that is another one fight online here on the set of Iconic Noobs. Kengu with a late pickup onto J Money could be a difference making here though, as now Iconic Noobs are. Forced to back out and play onto the point here. Pog and the Lucio just making sure everybody is sped out nice and safe. 
Yeah, there's a whole other team fight that just all they needed was that chatter, nothing else. I mean, we still have a lot of moves on the Four lens and snags are committed here on both sides. Your fat cat though, oh no! Not getting any value out of the coalescence as they're going to get taken out so early. Now the grab is to come through, only catching you gravity. Can they get rid of the high charge Zarya? Absolutely they can. So Lee Ratty and J Money is going to get a cleanup with the kill apiece. It's all Paga starting some Lucio diff. As it looks like uh, they're just staggering Kengu out a little bit. Oh, For a little no. bit of time, that's going to be absolutely brutal. A rogue knight here with just the one ultimate to work with, Kitty. Yeah, that's just unfortunate on that stagger out the Kengu. Is worse whenever you have stagger a DPS instead of when you have a little baby diva. <laughs> and here, I think they don't even have those DPS holes. You already had some really built up a grab. Oh no, Eldritch is going to get walled off, and the Shatter is not going to find anybody. So, a very, very quick death coming up. Muffin Pirate getting so many kills, getting so high charge already. Kang, once again, with another very interesting pickup here. Oh, it's a double kill on the side of Kangu. That Junkrat is getting so much work done here. Uh, on these narrow chokes, so that could be the opening that they needed, but Rogue Knights are going to have to move fast if they're going to be able to contest and trigger overtime here on the point. Riptire is going to go out into the back line. Does it find anybody? Well, Pog has the sound barrier to answer. That could be absolutely massive. Find J Money that time to take down the tire. Now, oh, last round of the triple kill on the McCree is going to be absolutely enormous. Fat Cat here cleaning up as well, and Rogue Knights for the first time this series are going to start to stake a claim on the point. Point. Can you with an execute onto Muffin Power to making sure that Zarya doesn't get out with any charge either? Um, bit of a triangle party there, Kitty. Not too many ults online now. Well, I mean, Ranch is gonna be coming up with a shatter here, and he's been really bad yeah, goes. And Rogue Knights only have the coalescence coming online, so they're gonna have to really play it smart here. Well, it looks like Eldritch has switched over onto the comfort pick. Uh, of the Wrecking Ball here, so a lot of frontline brawliness is no longer going to be available. And just as I say that, uh, Vanish Depression is going to take their Kanga, but Eldritch once again is going to make the pay for their aggression. Both teams are- oh no! Wow, Pog with a the great boop. boop kill onto Gravity is going to be absolutely enormous. Iconic noobs here are going to be able to lock this down. Rogue Knight's out of time and out of people, just Fat Cat here going to be able to touch, but the Deadeye there is there to take them out as well. Iconic noobs here after giving up the point for just 39% throughout the entire map are going to take the lead 1-0. Yeah, that last fight looked like it was going on the side of Rogue Knights for a good minute and... Play of the game. Iconic noobs just able to turn it around, like... It's hand. So Kitty, while you get the lobby sorted, I'm gonna just go into my set. My spectator settings real quick to make sure I'm not missing anything. <laughs> okay, well, I have it written down. Objective camera is triangle. Spec uh, spectate next is your right on the D-pad. The previous is left on the D-pad. Um, to go back to third person is up. Or to go third but person, it I think it's up. up. Yeah. Up hasn't been working for me, but I'll, I will try again. I think it's I think it's usually X that I do. X is Whenever exit, I do that one. but let's see. Oh, okay, I don't know. I, I don't know if they changed that. them. <laughs> okay. Oh, and we already got our swaps for Rogue Knights. Let me take us to Blizzard World really quick. I do have to give you. Well, I don't have to swap sides yet, but whenever we do, I'll have to give you ownership back so you can switch the names. Because mm -hmm. I don't think Papa Jeff has fixed that just yet. Papa Jeff has been very busy. Uh, the Wrecking Ball change coming out soon might just ruin Aldrich's day. Uh, but uh, basically, all heroes now have Reinhardt's Steadfast buff. Wait, what? Oh, um, same lineup. Sorry, just I was looking at Fast Cat, the Fat Cat's lineup, and it's the same, and it kind of threw me off. I was like, wait. <laughs> But yeah, like, hearing all those nerves for tanks coming in... <sighs> I just might get like double barrier back in the meta, Kitty. Oh god, no. I really don't like double barrier. Can he at least fix Sigma, please? Please. <laughs> I don't like his shield recall. Or whatever the heck it's called. It's... 
Well, uh, Korean in chat asking for a compliment. Corin, I think I really enjoyed your Instagram story. I really liked your outfit. I think you looked really good. I think it was in character of everything I know about you, and it was very representative of your personality. So, um, that's my, uh, that's my, that's my, that's my, that's my compliment for you. <laughs> Okay, Ranch Muffin, Croy, and Sans, so J Money out. Where's Sans? Sans isn't here. Unless I've had him. Okay, we're just gonna give Sans here. a second. Drogon is in to come into partner Pog, two teammates from last season's uh, championship team, the White Walkers, in tier 3. Uh, instead of playing DPS together, they are now playing support together. Lacroix and Sans on the DPS lineup is going to, I believe, yeah, I believe that this is basically a brand new lineup except for the tank line with Ranch and Muffin lining up here. And no switches on the side of Rogue Knight, so um, definitely meaning they saw some promising signs here. Uh, we know um, Val is excited to get into it as well, uh, as Val, I believe, just switched over from Iconic Noobs onto Rogue Knights earlier this season. Uh, and is facing off against their former team for the first time. I think we have seen LaCroix and Sans play in the same lineup. They usually play, um, like, LaCroix is a big hit scan player, Sans, I think, plays. They have really big plays on LaCroix. This title yeah, says, Coach, oh, I'm aware David. that the Twitch name is yeah. wrong. Um, every stream we have done has had the wrong name because you can type all you want, but whatever Twitch wants to slap on there, they will. So we'll keep trying. <laughs> um, but that's a glitch Twitch has not been able to fix. Unfortunately, we go back into our Twitch VODs almost everything for, what, the past three months, Kitty? Mm -hmm. Stream team has just been putting out incorrect names after incorrect names, unfortunately. Yeah, I think here we just, we would have to get, if Jiva came online and changed it herself, we don't have the login information for her. For that, so hopefully it just changes on its own. Well, we have six more minutes for Sans to get online before, um, Yep, there they are. Sans now online with the wrong player icon. Stepping <laughs> into partner LaCroix. Um, which makes sense on Blizzard World. Both these players we, we know do well on the hitscan and sniper hero. So um, with the long sight lines that Blizzard World offers, that's going to be very interesting here. And uh, Iconic Noobs, I don't know. I mean, they looked extremely comfortable on the brawl, but I don't know if that's what you want to stick with here in Blizzard World, Kitty. With the brawl from Iconic News? Um, I don't know, because you've seen Muffin Pirate play a really good Orisa. And maybe Ranch will come out with a... A Sigma, or maybe even the Hog, you, we don't know. Like, last night we saw a lot of pulled pork on the side of, I think it was Valkyries. Some pulled pork does sound pretty good, Kitty. It's, it's my lunch time right now. Uh, and I'm not gonna time, eat so. and cast at the same time, so... Any mentals of food is going to be pretty rough as to get readies coming out from Iconic Noobs as well. Yep. Wait, I should probably do the title. I mean, the, the score. Well, Ember, Lizard, well. Yay! Initiating the match. Oh, oh Kitty, working the bot. How to do it. I Mr. Know. Tech Boy over here. I know, I finally got it. Now I have to be in every stream so I can do it. I'm kidding, I probably won't. <laughs> I actually have a life and play other video games. And a son, Kitty. That sounds like a lot of work. Oh, I mean, he's he's he takes care of himself. Really? He has his own video oh, games. Man. Oh, look at that. We'll be getting a dive from Iconic Moose this time. I guess Ranch has got to take advantage of that ball. Oh, sorry. 
Yeah, so the key binding that I saw in the menu is incorrect. I, I am mashing the up button and I'm not getting the first person view that I requested. Hey, We can't fix it, Korean. Okay, there we go. Ranch is going Five, off the ball. Four, Five floor? Three, no. No, they're probably two, just baiting. One. Attackers incoming. Yeah, it looks like Song's right. going to come out on the far here as LaCroix is going to play the Tracer, hoping to harass Beezer and last round here. Bad Cat is going to have a lot on her hands uh, to make sure last round does not fall to one of the best Tracers in the league. Yeah, we'll be seeing a really interesting support line from Iconic Hills with the Mercy Sam. Drogon on that Mercy to pocket songs. Drogon a far player himself is familiar with the needs and wants of the Farah. And just to say that, the Reds is going to be forced out here on to last round. As Ranch is now staking a claim on the point, this is a really solid dive coming out on the side of um, Iconic Noobs. They're just setting up their DPS to be able to take these really weird angles. Pog getting a lot of damage done on the Zenyatta. Drogon down to absolutely no health, and Pog has the good DPS Zen that he is. Absolutely ignoring uh, your fellow support there. Uh, <laughs> just waiting for the Reds to come through as well. Yeah, Iconic Noobs just playing slow and, and able to get the surrounds on them. Sans and Pog set up on opposite sides, leaning the damage. LaCroix being an absolute thorn in the side of uh, Rogue Knight as well. This is just peak positioning play. Oh my goodness. Yeah, some reason playing myself, you I know that you can't heal him, it's okay. It's just best off. That's what happened with Pog. Look at that, Pog's on card duty. No, Pog, you gotta stay in the cart. There we go. Alright, so it looks like I kind of do some extra over. I want Eldritch just trying to make make the ball work as a LaCroix is going to take the L in that Tracer duel. Um, I'm not sure what synergy we're gonna get between a ball and a Risa here, and just as I said that, the El Eldritch is going to go down here. I mean, if anything, if they combo it out, you can have like a full mines. Oh, and the bombs are getting eaten, so fucking pirate. Oh, the far ultimate is going to come out from Sans, who is going to take down Fat Cat, Pog taking down Beezer as well. Uh, as uh, Ranch is just to run you gravity over. That's going to be really left for Rogue Knights. They're not going to be able to get a single full fight here on Street Phase unless they force a touch here. It looks like Eldritch is going to try to roll their way on point, but the minefield coming out is going to make their really difficult as well. So Eldritch does slam in to try to touch here, and the gravity is going to fly through the mines to try to touch. Bob is coming in as well. Oh my goodness, a big triangle fight right at the end of Street Phase here. It's going to be absolutely ridiculous. Sans takes down last round. Pog's transcend is ending though. Means the go button is going to be pressed here for Rogue Knights, but fortunately for Pog, Bob is going to depart the scene right then and there as well. Eldritch of the Mines could just be what solidifies this on the side of Rogue Knights here. Amelia Kerr and Sans, the DPS duel of Iconic Noobs is getting so much work done though. So much attention is being directed towards Rant Depressin and Muffin Pirate and trying to disrupt Pog that the DPS duel of LaCroix and Sans were just able to absolutely run riot on that backline and clean up the fight. Poor Pog, he got, he got far spawned. At least LaCroix is there to meet him. Oh, LaCroix got bad spawns, and that Zen is not known for speed. Uh, while well, we have a break in play here, Bushido Bonsai have taken the lead here. So as things stand, it looks like Iconic Noobs will be able to take the clean lead uh, at the top of the table. So uh, any Iconic Noobs fans we have tonight are also going to be big Bushido Bonsai fans as well. Unexpectedly taking the lead against Thorin for content, uh, who are living up to their name at the moment. <laughs> That was a weird blowout from Eldritch. Well, Ranch is going to come into mines here, and last round is going to be taken at a very chaotic fight right now as the Deep Bomb is going to be fitted onto the back line and the Gravity. Oh, find some hog here as uh, the bomb doesn't find anybody. And uh, looks like a bunch of ultimates are going to be committed here on the side of Iconic Noobs here. Sans finds another double with the Far Barrage. Uh, unstoppable so far this evening. Ranch and Press has to take the Kangoo as well, so a lot of stall potential unavailable there. The 
Yeah, here it looks like I kind of will be can finish here with a lot of time of the bot fine slot. Okay, that could be exactly what they needed as a spawn advantage for the defending team. It's no absolutely mercy. massive. Last round is kicked out of Drogon as well with the help of a flashback, the sun rendering them mercy useless here. Red Depression is just going to reset as well as we see now. Iconic news players are taking their turns diving into that pit. See ya. Look at have that pit there then. We just the switch from Zons onto a Sombra now and Drogon onto Brig. So yeah, both teams are actually they're... running a Brig now. Looks like both teams are unhappy with the ball here as they're going to try to commit everything to make sure Eldridge and Branch uh, don't have much of a fun time as they're currently having. It's Our attack on Gravity is going to come out and Kangu is going to dive onto Sans. Really good counter diving from Buffer Pirate to peel for their Sombra as well. Eldritch now challenging the Sombra of Sans as well. They're taking turns disrupting Sans. Sans is actually having a really difficult time trying to face forward and deal with the ball and that the rest of that tank line. As uh, they're just trying to do everything to fend off Kengu's Tracer and Gravity's Diva as well as Eldritch. Uh, diving that Sombra non-stop. Really good play to make sure that Sombra doesn't get any value. So, Mind going to be committed as well as Pog is not going to uh, let them transcend this rip. Amela Kor is going to find Beezer here. A really important pick as Vakai goes down as well. No supports on the side of Rogue Knight. Any damage you take is now permanent, my friend. Gravity has the Diva Bomb online, but is going to, yep, is going to barely manage to be able to squeeze that out. Sons of Rams Depression hiding behind the Pale is the most probable of all time. And the EMP is going to come out, canceling the Deadeye as well. Sons is going to find value after all, despite Rogue Knight's best efforts. They have a crazy melee is not breaking out on point. Beezer is going to be able to get the first thing on to Drogon. So Pog is going to lead left, so healing everybody as the Zenyatta as Drogon left and went down with the rally in hand as well. By some miracle, I can't believe it, Rogue Knight losing two players at the beginning of that fight are still going to be able to manage to hold on here, Kitty. What a hold, what a stall. Yeah, I think here is just these are pop being able to pop that uh rally saves the team a lot of time. But Rogan will be coming back with, with his own rally here, along with the Croy with the dragon, so we have to see just how they play this year. Along with Ranch being able to build mine soon. Early Rally is going to be committed and Gravity is going to get hacked down and chunked down to half health uh, very quickly for being healed up. A uh, good Discord follow up as well with the healing was there to keep them alive. Eldritch rolling in with no fear of Sons and Gravity is going to get hacked up yet again and this time they are going to get Demek. Dragon Strike coming through is going to be absolutely massive but the contest is still there. J Money with the mines to the back line but Eldritch has some to answer of their own as well. So many kills coming through and it's just the Lucio of Beezer who is unable to touch in time as it looks like iconic noobs are are going to be able to finish with 39 seconds on the clock. Score. Zero. So still Three. really good defense from Rogue Knights, taking it from 3 minutes to 39 seconds. I think it was like 3 minutes 30 Initiating seconds when they were turning the, into that corner. Yeah, honestly, so to... uh, I think that Rogue Knights did a pretty good job trying to stretch that timeline as much as possible. I think you're absolutely correct, Kitty. Uh, Korean in chat just... <laughs> Uh, quick observation on exact. I think you're absolutely right, Korean. That was just the rally diff there. Um, Drogon popping that rally early just gave everybody that extra armor and in a dive composition where burst damage is everything. Uh, that dive armor, uh, that extra armor is going to be absolutely Ready crucial to keep these squishies alive. Uh, Korean as well making an intelligent point to make up for the earlier less intelligent point as they got jebated by the dive torb early in spawn. <laughs> Well, I think, too, he meant more whenever Beezer is pop rally. Just that, for them to be able to, like, for Rogue Knights to stay up, just a few players that were there, until everybody else was able to make it to contest, it's it's crazy how much value you can get out of rally. So, Kitty, it looks <laughs> like a... basically a mirror coming out on these teams. What are your thoughts? The double birds, Mercy, Mercy Zen, Mercy Lucio. Oh what? my god, it's basically the same, it's just the, the Zen and the Lucy that are different. Yeah, and Pog here is going to take a lot of peel to keep alive, given uh, how, how, how diveable these compositions are. And, and a lot of times, the Mercy Lucio is known as the no backline composition, because if we have a Lucio at Mercy as a support line, who are you, right? Like, who are you going to be able to dive on the side of Iconic Noobs? You just... <laughs> Looking to wait for the counter dive uh, as uh, Rogue Knights initiate and engage onto Pog. 
And gravity is going to get back early. It looks like they were going to for a very aggressive dive onto Pog, but the uh, ball of Muffin Pyro was just able to smack them out of the way. Last round, it was a double kill, though the echoes of both teams coming alive here in this chaos, chaotic mid fight as Saz is going to get rezzed up. King is going to be thinking of a Muffin Pirate as well. Looks like Rogue Knights are not going to be successful here early on. But just as I say that, Muffin Pirate, okay, is going to be taking out in last round, finding a double kill nice and early on, making me eat my words. So Rogue Knight's still looking very healthy here. Eldritch asserting the ball dip as well. Big slam in the back one. Pog being sure to have taken the Zen and you win the fight here. And just as I say that, Pog is going to go down. It's just Drogon left alone with that lonely, lonely Mercy Blast round and will be a pretty brutal stagger here for Drogon as well. Oh no, Drogon almost made it out. <laughs> Oh. He had a really nice mercy jump to try and get out. Kitty, I don't think you and I are in any position to comment on anybody's mercy we play as we clearly do not play any mercy between us. <laughs> yeah, we don't play mercy at all. Um, <laughs> so, good ultimates coming out on both sides here, Kitty. Yeah, I think almost every ultimate on the side of Rogue Knights. And only the blood. Both tank <laughs> ultimates. You can see Lagoy switch up to hey, Ash now. Alright, Drogon is not going to commit hey, to this buff, so he just to deal with a bit of the aggression coming out. Fat Cat is here to an Ash as well. Alright, Mines are going to be committed. Muffin Pirate is going to get us safely though, and just a little bit of free car progress for the time being on the side of Rogue Knight. Sansa to fall down on the ground here in a very, very dangerous position here on the far. But does just barely managed to get out as last round is going to be caught out by the Mines here on the side of Ranch Depression. Both these teams matching each other for elimination and um, ultimate so far. Neither team choosing to be super aggressive and doing a lot of things there. As Beezer, hello? Beezer just walked into the mines? I don't understand what happened there. Muffin Fire with a double kill in the back one though was a little more straightforward. It is explosives galore for now here on. Uh, Blizzard World. Yeah, I think Beezer was just having a lovely little mid-afternoon stroll and then hit the amp speed and got a little confused and just walked into no, some of those was... hammer droppings. He was trying to run away from San. Sans kept trying to kill him and I think he thought the mines were gone. Just kind of casually bumped into them. Yeah, well, they it clearly happens. weren't, unfortunately. LaCroix, like just as Kitty said earlier, stretching over onto the Ash. So now two relatively viable dive targets for World Knights. The Fat Cat is going to get taken out nice and early on. Paul, though, is going to get taken down as a, well, but the flyer duo on the set of Rogue Knights is going to be uh, available to be called upon here. But they are choosing to commit ultimates here. Beezer is going to go in with the sound barrier as last round switching over onto that Diva using Echo's duplication mode as well. Sanji with the barrage is going to take down Beezer. No defensive ult available to counter that either. It's going to be enormous. It looks like Iconic Dupes are going to be able to lock this down. Yeah, here Rogue Knights are just taking a lot of damage and losing pieces really early with only a mercy to try and keep everybody up. It just didn't really go well and the card just keeps rolling back. This is a really tough position to push through given how many different uh, advantage points and high grounds the defending team is going to take. So you see Rogue Knights relentlessly try to secure it by moving up top and uh, are we are we are we already for some switches with a somber in the play here for Rogue Knights, Kitty? I'm not sure they, the Samba could help here, honestly. I just, uh, I just feel like Rand Crescent is able to run right in the back line. So both Diva Bombs coming out, only Ravity finding a pick onto Muffin Pirate, who is unable to remake in time. Drogon, a very, very risky red is going to be paid off as well as Gravity on the baby Diva is unable to secure that kill. <laughs> Less than two minutes remaining now. Uh, Iconic Noob doing very well because given how far forward they're able to hold here on street, uh, they've guaranteed themselves at least two fights here on street's phase unless something goes horribly wrong. Yeah, I gotta agree that with Strawberry, two divas. Oh, and Strawberry, <laughs> that's <laughs> brutal. But no, Strawberry's <laughs> brutal, but absolutely correct. Uh, a really good positioning for Sans to be able to sneak out on the Oh, and Beezer falls to well. the mines again! Ay, 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 Beezer, my friend. Today's not your day. Uh, the hammer dropping is really so lethal. Eldritch and Kenku both going down as well. Uh, even if Rogue Knights are able to secure the win here on the next fight, they're promising themselves a very, very lengthy overtime push. And uh, last round now, switching over onto the Sombra. The key here, Kitty, is, to be a is, is, is going to be able to... Um, is going to hinge on last round's ability to be able to charge up an EMP before the round is over. 
I mean, here I think Last Brown might be trying to go for Pog, but with LaCroix right yeah. next to him, it'll be kind of hard. Yeah, they're sort of pretty comfortable that... here on the high ground. Uh, Pog here taking a bit of splash <laughs> damage, and oh, oh my goodness, Kitty, you have called it. Pog is going to go down. These are yet again the I'm first sorry, casualty Pog. on the fight here, and no support online for Rogue Knights. They had to finish this point for them to get out. Bob tweeted as well is a sign for Rogue Knights to just pull back. Elder is going to be taken out as well. Uh, but it looks like no further kills are going to come through. Last round here with the funny number on the EMP as well. Uh, if they work hard enough, could just barely eke out that EMP right at the end here. And that's going to be absolutely massive because we have close to six ultimates online for Rogue Knight. This should be a fight win. Uh, but Iconic Noobs here have a transcendence up their sleeve. Down to work from. Justice, rain from above. Oh, is going to come hole. out as the sound barrier is going to come in as well. Sans and LaCroix getting a kill a piece as well. Uh, a lot of ultimates are coming in on both sides. The Transcendence finally being called upon from Pog to keep everybody alive. And uh, the EMP is not going to come out. Bees are getting checked out extremely low yet again. Last round is going to get taken out. Can anybody touch the point? You gravity and Fat Cat are going to be there. That is not where you want to be as the Mercy, but desperate times call for desperate measures. Number Pirate is going to get taken out. Really good one from Beezer as well. Picks coming out left, right, and center. A really, really large set of mines coming out from both uh, Wrecking Balls here. Kengo asserting that far again, but it looks like the cart is going to continue to roll forward here. Just Ranch and LaCroix here left to contest. Uh, Drogon is going to be around here. Oh my goodness, the bomb is going to absolutely bomb. Nervous, and that could just the fight win. Uh, Elder is going to come in as well. Ranch getting chunked down so very low, but the healing is there. I don't think anybody oh, can touch, and it bomb. looks like Iconic Noobs are going to take the win and take the lead 2-0 here in the Overwatch Oasis League. It's always that Bob Div. Play of the game. I think yeah, that's what it is, isn't it? At the end. Bob, do something. Double. Um, I have an inside source here, Kitty. Uh, if you want some scalding hot tea. Give it to me. Okay. Uh, my inside source is actually my DMs, and uh, all I received <laughs> was a ping from Bleem. With the words "get ready," oh no! <laughs> so Bleem is about to come means. into the lineup. Kitty, listen, I also think I know what that means, and I'm scared oh, to no. make a prediction. <laughs> oh no, I don't. Oh, and it's both Sky as well. Oh, this is gonna be so bad. Uh, I'm not ready. Um, in other news, uh, Kitty, it looks like we have somebody in chat. Uh, editing the score, uh, a Red Hood Kitty is being very helpful and very timely in changing the scores up and uh, getting those bot commands down pat. So whoever that is, big props to you. Thank you so much for helping out. Really appreciate you. I believe is pronounced the uh, Red Hood Kitty. Red Hood Kitty, yes, I believe that's correct. Spectic Blue. I'll give you J Money is blue as well. Here, I'll give you owner in a minute. Let me do the subs for Rogue Knights really quick. Eldridge, Revy, Sean, Last Brown. So Kengu will be coming out. Sean will be coming in. And we'll have Steel and Star. Wait, where's Kogu? There's Star. So it looks like a whole switch up. Here, I'll give you owner really quick so you can change the names. Thank you. It looks like Sean the Ginger is coming in for their first... Uh, map as well as uh, Steel and Kuros are like I said a lot of people coming in for the first maps of the season as we are closing in a match point and uh, Rogue Knights whatever they've been doing clearly has been working as well as they are hoping so they are going to switch things up yeah maybe we'll see they'll be going on attack first so I believe they will probably still see the dive from Eldrin's and Uravity and on defense, we could very much see Ravity playing that Orisa again that they played in Blizzard World. I forgot to change the map. Crap. Alright, Kitty, you have ownership back. Um, okay, let me change the map. Just waiting for some readies to come in. It looks like we're waiting for iconic noobs to... Uh, Secure a Get lineup for us in. as well. Um, on the bench for Iconic Noobs, we have Infinite, J Money, and Bleem. I believe Infinite and Bleem have not played so far this evening, so they will be raring to go as well. Secure and Pog the on DPS? Hello? Hello? Okay. <laughs> Pog. 
Hog is into <laughs> DPS. We've seen them run the DPS on uh, Tier 3 before. Pog running a very good Tracer, a, a pretty solid Ash, a pretty scary Genji from time to time. Uh, will be very exciting to see how they are able to pop off in Tier 2 as well. Bleem is into coming as well on the signature off tank role. Very good Sigma player, a very good Zarya player. Um, given the meta recently, Bleem has been unable to flex anything except for the Sigma, but uh, as he has repeatedly told me in my DMs, both on Discord and Instagram, um, he is not a Sigma one trick. So hoping for some big things here for Bleem on any hero but the Sigma. I mean, he was a Zarya one trick last season in White Walkers. So. Yeah, Bleem famously uh, uh, inflexible and only able to play one hero, as we all know. <laughs> Um, so we have the ready coming up for one player on the side oh, of Iconic no. Moves. LaCroix is ready, but the rest of the team is not, so it's just going to be a second. And yep, getting, giving Pog that DPS debut. <sighs> <laughs> Charles. <sighs> See, seeing Pog on DPS, I'm... I... I think I know what's coming, and I, I'm really worried. I'm stressed. Okay, right I now. can't lie. I'm stressed a little bit. Once again, I don't want to predict anything. Um, Kitty, it looks like someone has asked for the score, and the bot has responded in a timely, professional, and accurate fashion. So, uh, good work, Mr. Tech Boy, Kitty. All right, that's both ready. But yes. <laughs> oh God, here we go. But yes, thank you to our Nightbot for always being so timely and polite. Um, before we move on, Kitty, we have the word of the day, uh, the halftime word of the day presented by Charles Tang here. And the word of the day is LIM, spelled L-I-M-N, and it is a verb uh, meaning to draw or paint on a surface or to describe something. That's L-I-M-N, I believe it's pronounced LIM, and you don't pronounce oh, the N. LIM. Yeah, it is a verb to draw or paint over a surface. Uh, to outline in clear, sharp detail, or to describe something. Hmm. So, for example, uh, this is a, an excerpt from the New York Times. Ready the book limbs how the two men, so different in their origin, are. Uh, so, yeah, it's just a a very specific verb used to call out and point out very detailed and explicit uh, descriptions. It looks like we were wrong. Pog's gonna be coming up on an echo. Pog on the echo, what once again, is it? something we have seen in tier 3. I'll be very interested to see how that translates over to a tier 2 level. Uh, Bleem over on the one trick yet again. That is a Peppa Hands in chat for uh, everybody's favorite 16 and a half year old here. Uh, Bleem uh, insisting he's not a one trick, but yet running the golden weapons for Sigma. Interesting. As a wrench and very, very aesthetically. Wow, actually, very good skin coordination from a lot of these players. Um, the Florida Mayhem colors really popping out in the most Sky of Winter. As, oh, Elder's gonna chuck down so low. Uh, he's gonna eat a purple from Drogon as well, barely able to get out alive. Shaman oh, Ginger is taking up from Amelia LaCroix here. Uh, so a very good early elimination here on the side of Iconic Noobs who look very comfortable on this double barrier composition here. Eldritch on the ball is going to roll through with low health and gets chunked down even lower. Oh, and eventually is going to get taken down. Shaman the Ginger goes down for the second time in one fight and it looks like a full reset is online here for Rogue Knights. Kitty, who is the dive target in this composition? Is it Drogon? Is it LaCroix? Or is it just you just go straight for the tank line? I would think you'd go for either Drogon or LaCroix, but I mean you can't really go for LaCroix with Super Ratty power boosting him. And Drogon, Drogon so far has very been positioning nice at... very intelligently, and it's all about Bleem's ability to peel here. And of course Bleem knowing everything there is to know about this hero, given that this hero is all they play this season. Oh, very on early Bleem kill with ahead. Bleem on the signature Sigma. Uh, as Eldritch is going to go down, Bleem on the one trick hero is going to get a lot of work done. So there's a way to force Bleem off the Sigma that might just be a map and series win for both knights. Oh, Sean the Ginger with a very interesting flank here. Goes up off the high ground, lets rip 
with the attack visor, but not able to find any kills. Pog is now going to switch over and match the soldier and a live. Oh my goodness, that soldier diff in the back line. Pog is going on a tear. Oh my goodness, Val is going to go down as well. Rash with the double kill. Bleem on the Sigma one trick hero is going to take down last round as well. Bleem getting so much work done. Um, and once again, Kitty, they definitely should, given that's the one hero they're able to play. So you better be good at your one trick, right? Yeah, that's. <clears throat> excuse me, that's actually pretty insane that Pog was able to do that when both supports on the side of Iconic Dreams went down really early. That was. that. It felt like that would have gone to Rogue Knight easily if they lost supports, but did we still hold that out? Alright, Pog is going to be able to take down Kuroi Star nice and early on here as Rogue Ninja force it to take refuge here to bury it. Macho. Bleem finding two with the flux! And is able to confirm the kill onto the last round, and you Ravni. Sean the Ginger is now on the high ground, the flea firing before Bleem is able to get there and disrupt them and force them off the high ground. Really, really good rotation here from Bleem and Ranked Depressant. That was that main and off tank synergy is evident for all to see as they're able to just take a really intelligent pathing up there. Uh, the flux uh, in that group to Little Choke was very good as well, and pushing onto the higher end to make sure uh, Sean the Ginger isn't able to free fire is enormous as well. Oh, a very, very ballsy Raz from Lee Ratty is going to make sure Pog stays alive. Uh, really good move there. Last round here, uh, undefeated on that high ground is going to find a double kill with that Jedi. That could be the opening they need. They shot the ginger with a kill onto Bleem as well. Where Brands are pressing, taking a lot of damage, having to hide in the cubby and able to make their way onto that mini pack. And it's going to be is going to be able to be taken down as well. We see this high ground here on the right side of our camera being able to oh, be utilized over and over again by these hitscan DPS heroes on the side of Rogue Knight. Sean the Ginger and Last Brown able to crack the point open on multiple occasions oh, and Last Brown finally able to um, secure Rogue Knight a point capture with that. And we like we'll be seeing the Bleem's Diva now. That's a rare thing to see. Leave on the demon to help rent to press up with some of their dive duties here. It's going to be absolutely enormous. Um, yep, going in here just to disrupt Sean the Ginger and last round a little bit, taking a, uh, a good amount of damage, but the healing is there to keep everybody healthy. Ranch is going to do the first one down to the demon now solo tanking and already finishing with the flashbang and fan the hammer combo. Bob is going to be committed as well on the side of LaCroix to keep everybody nice and alive. Pog here doing onto that Winston of all heroes. Now, a true test of their uh, juggle mechanics here as uh, it looks like Iconic Dooms are able to swing control back in their favor. Eldritch though matching with the Angry Monkey is going to take down Drogon in the back line. Um, and Knights here just cleaning up the kills before stepping some bodies onto the point. And Ransom Preston is able to contest as Bleem is there as well. Look forward to getting their Eldritch to make sure a lot of tank pressure is not there. Q-Bomb here is going to come out. Kuroi Star is going to be safe courtesy of the Immortality Field. And after a very, very good stall, Iconic Noobs are not going to be giving up any capture percentage, Kitty. Yeah, that's kind of crazy that, that both, like, again, both supports go down really early on a kind of moves here, or they're just really far away from the team, but for Bleem and the DPS and everybody to just be able to stay up, is quite impressive. So we'll be seeing Hog onto Tracer now. Alright, the dive and the counter dive have both been engaged, so not just a crazy melee off one. Bleem with an early kill onto Eldritch. A lot of help from the Ratty as well, who has the Glock down, and last round is going to die to a Mercy chat. I don't believe it. If it's not Drogon, it has to be one of the Mercy players on Iconic Noobs. <laughs> yeah, you Ratty just a quick dunk into the uh, freezing Volskaya Lakes as well, just to reset as well. Ranch has the mines online, but that's the only ultimate immediately available. And on the side of uh, Rogue Knights, it looks like they're going to have four big ultimates online here. Too. 60 seconds remaining. Yeah, here, Last Brown and Sean and Ginger just have to take a really good positioning to be able to get quality out of those ults. They have to get Bleem out of Meg mainly, so he doesn't eat all that damage. <laughs> An early pick up the cooldown from Eldridge. The resurrection is there, extremely risky, right in front of Sean the Ginger, who is going to take them out. And the uh, oh, that attack visor is going to commit a Droga with a sleep onto the visor. It's going to be absolutely enormous. And Bleem is going to secure the kills with the Diva Bomb. A double kill is going to be massive. It looked so good 
on the side of Rogue Knight. Shot the Ginger with the visor out, taking out, uh, I believe it was the Ratty mid res, but Drogon's sleep was absolutely crucial there to keep everybody up. It's hand. Uh, okay, LaCroix is getting back early on. Eldris is going to get melted as well, but is able to trigger the overtime. Kuroi start fading onto point. Diva Bomb coming out, but probably too little too late. LaCroix is just going to go down nice and early on as part of a celebration. Uh, but it looks like a very, very solid hold for iconic noobs who do not give up any ticks here on point beyond Voxnaya. Yeah, Drogon, they kind of just dunk on Sean there. Yeah, Drogon was a very, very timely sleep dart, making sure Sean is, uh, was able to demech Bleem, but not do any other, uh, any more further damage. Uh, just a bit of a quick update here, chat. Bushido Banzai are up 2-0. Uh, throwing for content oh, here. Yeah, not quite sure exactly what is going on, as a throwing for content is just running into some trouble. Um, Bushido Banzai now have a... Oh, excuse me. Bushido Bonds, I now have a match point available. Ready for battle. We gotta keep in mind, I think... Throw for Conte did lose Lee Ratty, who is now on Iconic News. And I'm not sure if they've dropped Attack anybody else. I think it's just Lee Ratty, actually. So, uh... Iconic News coming out here defending... Or, sorry, attacking, hopefully, for a clean... Uh, first place here on the table here, as uh, it looks like through for content are running into a bit of trouble. Bushido Banzai rallying back and having a very good game so far, leading 2-0. Uh, you can check that on the twitch.tv slash Overwatch Oasis stream 2. But here on the primary channel, we still have uh, Iconic Noobs facing off against Rogue Knights. Iconic Noobs 2, Rogue Knight 0. If Iconic Noobs are able to secure point A and one tick on point B, they will secure the win here this series. Aye, 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 the shield was down for one second and Drogon was already there with a huge pick. And Bleep, oh my goodness, Bleep with the dive on the high ground to deny the resurrection was absolutely enormous. So Iconic Noobs are now going to be able to fight the rest of this. With a six on five advantage, really giga brain stuff here from Bleem here uh, to disrupt that resurrection. The middle four is going to get taken down, so both teams fighting five on five so far. Uh, but it looks like Shaman will be back soon. Last round with a dynamite kill onto Lee Raddy is going to be absolutely massive as well. But Ranch now kind of well around in the back line, unimpeded. Um, Hog is going to get taken out by Sean the Ginger, but Drogon is there with yet another pick. Uh, so efficient on the flex support so far this evening. I think I missed a little bit of the action there. I don't know where all the... It felt like everybody from my Iconic News was nice and healthy and then it was just dead. Yeah, all of a sudden it just all disappeared. Um, <laughs> exactly. Pog already very close to an EMP, Kitty. This could be the game changer. I mean, Bleem also very close to the Diva Bomb here. And if Rogue Knights choose to stay on that top rotation, they can easily fall very quickly to the EMP Bomb. Yeah, as grouped up as they are in a safe, that might be towards a dive, and EMP is going to ruin their day here in Pod is percent uh, Speaking of ruining the days of grouped up enemies, the minefield is going to be committed to force everybody off the point, and Eldritch is going to die mid-contest as well. We have Bob, who is off the point, but has... Oh my goodness, Roman just, mel just melting the bomb, and then a kill into Eldritch as well. This is the Zenyatta show! Kuroi is going to get taken down by a kick to the face as well. Sean the Ginger taking down Young Drogon, but that's already too little too late. The damage has already been done. The Zenyatta is unstoppable. Pog with a double kill as well. Ranch is going to take down you, Ravity. And uh, the pick of the Lee Ratty might just be a little bit of a condol uh, yeah, condolence pity kill here as a Ranch... Uh, sorry, Eldritch is going to be hacked out as well. Um, Iconic Noobs with a really, really good push off the back of some enormous picks of Drogon. And here, Iconic Noobs going to go into this point with three ults. And only the Supercharger and the Vice are coming live soon for Rogue Knights. Alright, so they're already jumping in nice and early. Bleem with a very well-placed Diva Bomb is going to find a double kill. That just could happen there as the uh, Dragon Strike is to be committed as well. So we have no Drogue on this fight to carry everybody on their backs with those very good picks. But just as I say that the Rez is going to come through, 
rogue knights are in pretty dire straits at the moment. The transcendence is there just to celebrate, and iconic noobs are going to take the series 3 0. Of course, we will play out a map 4 from map differential, but an extremely down display on the side of iconic noobs. Oh my god, I kind of hope it was Drogon getting that casual 3k. <laughs> Oh no, not the baby diva. On oh, both the both tanks there. Ranch, hello? My goodness. I think I think you saw a lot last season. Ranch was not Ranch, um Muffin Pirate, who's not in this map here, but because he was playing really good on tank as well last couple maps. He played a lot of DPS and moving on to tank. Maybe we'll see him come in this map. Oh, same lineup from Fast from Rogue Knight, except Beezer's coming back in. Gleam, you are in. What are you talking about? <laughs> um, so, yeah, looks uh, like Rogue Knights are not going to make too many changes, and I mean. I, I just. Not. not, not there, there hasn't been too much that's worked for them so far this evening, Kitty. I mean, they looked really strong on Blizzard World, but it was just holding a couple of ults here and there that kind of got to them. Like, I think Korean or... it was Korean or Strawberry pointed out how Kangu held Barrage for almost the whole fight. I'm missing. Okay. So we are just waiting for some... the iconic Users. noobs lineup to come through. Okay. Okay, so no changes here for iconic noobs. So it looks like readies are out from both sides as we're good to jump in. Uh, so it's going to be Bleem, Ranch, Amelia, LaCroix, Pog, Drogon, and Lee Raddy. Uh, Kitty, would you like to give me owner to switch the yes, titles? Yes, names. Let me switch the map really quick. We are going to Dorado, and then I will give you control so you can change the name. There we go. There you go. I love Okay, Titan. yeah, we're just getting... <laughs> we're just getting confirmation from Muffin to see if there are no swaps. I know Bleem did say no swaps, but... Gotta get it from a captain. Bleem's a responsible young man, Kitty. I, I trust this word. He's he's sixteen and a half now, so learning a lot of new things at school. Um, for those of you who uh, would like to help out a child in need, please join the oh, no. White Walker server and check out uh, the homework channel, as Bleem occasionally uh, requires some academic assistance. This is not a joke. We have a homework channel, and and it's and it's used more often than you think it is. Like once a week, somebody hits that up real quick. What the homework channel? Really? Yeah. I've never been in there, so I wouldn't. <laughs> well, Kitty, you're too smart. You you get all your homework done. You probably ask the teacher for. Homework. I don't have homework. I mean, I could get help for my kids' homework, but. How, how difficult is this homework? Um, learning how to. Like how to write words, which he's already kind of failing at, because he writes his S backwards. Oh my goodness! I was talking. I, I there's a video of my cousin talking to her, my four year old cousin, well three and a half, talking to like her online, her like Zoom teacher, and she was crying because she couldn't do, she couldn't, she didn't know how to do her S. Oh. And like she was like literally, she was so she's like teacher, I can't do the S. She was so she was wrecked. She was as the kids say, absolutely boomed over the letter S. <laughs> Oh no! Yeah, yeah. My and then I was on the like... phone with her last night, actually, and she was crying again because she didn't know how to draw a car. She's like, "I can't do car. It's too hard." I'm like, "Chloe, it's okay." Aww. And I was just like watching this kid cry over FaceTime. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Because she's like a 20-hour flight away from me, because I'm in Australia and she's in London, and she just like couldn't draw a car. It was very, very sad. It broke my heart a little bit. Oh no, poor baby. And then she did draw a car. I, I tried to help her a little bit. And in her defense, she's absolutely correct. She cannot draw a car. It looked it looked awful. It looked nothing <laughs> like a car. 
Um, so I, I, to be like, it did break my heart, but I, I understand the crying because if I drew a car and it looked like that, I would also cry. Bleem, why are you oh, sending a so we are making, heck? we are making some subs. Uh, iconic noobs are going to show a little bit of mercy towards rogue knights and not run Bleem, just to protect rogue knights from being completely shattered. Uh, the star player is going to be taken out, and Infinite is going to be subbed in, making their first appearance of the evening. Yeah, I think Infinite don't they play a lot of hit scans as well? I know, I think him and Lacroix and Zons play so many hit scans, but. I think LaCroix being more of a Widowmaker, even though they didn't play any Widowmaker at all. You know, you can't have the Widowmaker's name as your PSN and not player. That's the debate, Kitty. That's where that's where mortals like you and I fail, but LaCroix steps <laughs> up. Kitty, can I flex on stream real quick? I just want chat to know how cool it is, is to it? be me. Chat, there's Go no ahead. COVID here. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm like going out to restaurants, going out to bars, making friends, playing sports, going on dates, all the stuff that normal humans are supposed to do. I get to do it like every day. I've been out every weekend, just like running into strangers and be like, hey, want to go out I feel like yeah and then I'll just join groups of random people I just met and make friends with them and it you know once again sorry to flex at you but I was really stoked there's that no there's COVID. no COVID here <laughs> wait but don't you guys still have to wear masks at all uh, I know only pixelator on wears oh, I know pixelator wears masks to work I think he works at like match. I'm not sure where he works I think it's like a hotel or some sort of like I don't know what it does. So a lot of service workers still wear masks, yeah, but um, there hasn't been any local cases for 30 days. The only cases we have had are in hotel quarantine, which is the entire point of having a hotel quarantine. Uh, yeah. So there's there's zero COVID cases within the local population. And you wear a mask just because, like, why not? It's it's not it's not really a big hindrance to anybody's Ready lives to wear battle. a mask anyways. Look at that, we're getting the Widow from Infinite. It's apparently too good at the game. Oh my god. Never mind. Alright, looks like... Huh. I'm still making swaps. Kitty, just, it looks like now that we're on Dorado, Rogue Knights are going to switch off Dive. I... That is a, uh, interesting, dare I say, inspirational decision, but... Um, well, I mean, they didn't run a dive defense on Volskaya, they just ran an attack. Five, yeah, four, I'm, I'm curious to see three, how this plays out, two, and uh, last one. round on the Sombra attack here is, is going to coming. try their best to disrupt Muffin and Ranch's ability to jump Stop in. The payload. <laughs> no. Alright, that monkey is using the diamond by themselves, and it's going to take so much damage, Ranch is forced to back out there, but... Uh, <laughs> Isn't going to be huge as she gets healed up, goes back in again. Sean the Ginger is going to be taken out. A dive like that makes uh, puts a lot of pressure on Drogon and Pog to land their shots, and Ranch Depressor has that really, really competent help, uh, just keeping them alive through these very aggressive dives. Thank you from Ranch and Mummy. Pretty good. Oh, but not good enough to help out Drogon in the back. Yeah, J Money is there to answer this, so no worries so far. Uh, Resurrection though onto Sean the Ginger means that Iconic Noobs are not going to push this one down, two down now. J Money going down as well. Uh, EMP comes out, might just be too little too late. That is a decision that I don't know if I fully agree with, as it looks like it is going to be a full reset here on the side of Iconic Noobs. Yeah, it looks like the res onto Sean the Ginger was a really good choice. Him just kind of wiping out the whole team. Almost really close to a barrage. Get through this. It looks like we'll be having a lot of ults on the side of uh, iconic moves. Both DPS ults here. Oh, Ooh, Sean the Ginger is going to take down Infinite nice and early. And once again, 
Uh, oh, Pog now switching <laughs> over onto the first off the bridge, so we do have a resurrection. That's solo barrage. The solo barrage is brutal but money. efficient, Kitty. What a move. That is a decision I 100% stand by. That is a uh, good choice in my books. Um, Infinite now switching over onto the far as well. A direct hit onto Sean. The ginger is going to be absolutely enormous. Oh, Flux coming in from Eldridge was being taken out. It was meant to catch like five players in there, but uh, looks like Iconic Noobs are trying to get the upper hand here in this fight. Gravity taking a lot of pressure, a lot of damage from all angles. You can shield dance all you want, but there are enemies all around you. And uh, they are going to push through and secure point A on Dorado. Iconic Noobs looking a little less coordinated than they did before, but it was still enough to take point A. I think Fog here trying to work with that, work for that MVP we talked about, taking the mercy from Drogon this time. <laughs> well, yeah, Pog's biggest competition is going to be Drogon here for that MVP as Drogon has been uh, absolutely uh, giving us a scintillating display on the uh, Ana and the Zenyatta. Oh, Drogon getting taken out though is going to be huge here. Can Sean the Ginger have not get out alive? No. Infinite's burst damage is too much. And oh no, their endeavor has come out to nothing as the resurrection is there uh, from Pog onto Drogon. Um, if we're being honest, Kitty, I feel like if Pog truly cared about getting MVP, he would not have rest Drogon. I think that's the best way to get MVP <laughs> is to make sure Drogon stays dead for longer. So Pog, no, interesting choice to sabotage to their own career here for the good of the team. Not really a philosophy I understand as I am famously self-centered and self-absorbed, Kitty, as you know from being a teammates with me for a season. Oh my god, yeah, I do know that. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I'm cloaking here. We have last round, but unable to get too much done here. But just as we watch that, you Ravenna was able to muscle their way onto point and get a contestant, but is going to get absolutely melted. The EMP is going to get committed. I don't. Ay, ay, ay. The point was lost, your main tank was dead, and the EMP wasted. Um, last round here. <laughs> <laughs> Last round here with the EMP, oh, switching on to the Reaper, which makes a lot of sense, I suppose. Not being able to find too much value on the Sombra, taking two full points to be able to charge up the an EMP, which is pretty rough. Um, Infinite here with the duplication ready to go. The Diva Bomb goes in, it's a really cramped area, but not able to find anything, not even the Immortality Field, as our Rogue Knights are going to be able to make a clean rotation here onto this high ground. Adaptive circuits engaged. Sigma. Oh, the duplication of Infinite onto the same way is going to be absolutely massive. The splash damage is such a tight quarters. It's going to be enormous. So much damage coming out. Infinite. Oh my goodness. No picks just yet, though, as the healing is there. And the rest is going to come out onto Beast. So somebody's got to touch the point, and there's going to be you ravaged. That makes the rotation. Infinite with a double kill as well. Getting so much work done as the Sigma. And now back at the Vanilla Echo is going to be enormous as well. Drogon here with the Zenyatta Transcendence to lock everything down. A kill onto Val is going to be enormous as well. Drogon absolutely unstoppable so far this series. And they are going to able to capture the point with almost three minutes remaining. Absolutely massive. Really good play from Iconic Noob so far. They want this win. They want this 4-0, Kitty. I just... <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't, I didn't understand why Rogue Knights was just fighting up there and Drogon just casually the moving the cart. Just casually pushing the cart. Easy peasy. No worries. It, Don't worry yeah, about me. Yeah, and it's like, okay, well, last, last couple seconds, I think they might contest. Let me just pop trance here really quick. Get another casual 2k on your gravity and... Valerian Steel. No worries, guys. Like, Pug. Pog, I love you, but it might be going to Drogon here. <laughs> just because <laughs> of how he's doing. <laughs> Ready for battle. Right, so what are we gonna get on the side of. <laughs> Ranch already locked in the monkey. Pog choosing to stay on that mercy along with Drogon on the Zen. It looks like they're actually running the exact same lineup. Um, what they did on their attack. Rogue Knight's probably having a bit of a hard time choosing what to do. They're might be opting to go with the Five, Mercy four, Brick? Three, this is a little... The attack junk is also 
very creative here. I'm, I'm, Sean the Ginger is a good junk crap, but I'm not sure if that's going to be a play trying to count it the dive here. On an uh, early pick from J Money on the Eldridge. Yep, Eldridge is going to be taken out nice and early. It doesn't look like Valor is trying to resurrect that, so, um, yeah, they're just going to have to take the L and just play it slow here. Yeah, he heals. It's going to be really low for both Knights. I'm trying to just get a pick onto those in high ground, but didn't find anybody. And Kart's still just slowly moving there. Yeah, Iconic Noobs here just giving up Kart progress from good positioning here. Very aggressive dive coming out from Eldridge, who is in a little bit of trouble getting chunked down to half, and the focusing beam is going to be there. And last round is going to do the first one down as Eldridge uh, is finally going to be able to get up alive. Now it's Ranch's turn to dive in. Uh, Infinite with a bit of a follow-up take that the Gravity Bees are going down as well. Drogon continuing to populate the kill feed. Sean the Ginger though, I questioned the attack junk and here it is, a double kill and Elders having finishing up. Buffer Pirate is going to go down as well. So that could be exactly what they needed and uh, Ranch the person is now forced to commit the um, Primal Rage as well as... Uh, oh no, unable to dodge the tire. Drogon just kind of left alone with Infinite here, trying to duel Sean, who is going to take Drogon down as Diva. well. The dupe mode is going to be committed here, which, by Infinite, which I don't know if it's the wisest decision. Uh, the Diva Bomb now being pushed out onto point, can't take anybody down, no one can't out of very well timed. Bubble from Eldridge is going to keep everybody alive. A uh, really good Winston play coming up from both teams right now. Bowser going to go down, no resurrections this time as Pog is going to bring J Money back into the fight. Um, Iconic Noobs are going to commit ultimates as is Rogue Knights to try to make point A work in their favor. And it looks like Rogue Knights might just be coming up on top as J Money going down means a lot of flash damage. Sorry, a lot of burst damage is not going to come out at Drogon with the trans. It's going to keep Ranch alive, but once again, no pick potential when you don't have that firepower there. Kind of stop for a couple seconds. Oh, Muffin! Aye, 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 aye. Oh, Muffin's no. gonna show up just a little bit too late, and I'm gonna take the camera away from that, kids. We should not be watching this content at home, as a Muffin <laughs> is just going to be left out alone to die. Oh, no. Um, oh, no, a bit of a stagger no, as Muffin. well. Uh, that's gonna be pretty rough. We just need to swap from on ranch onto the pod now. Oh, and J-Money getting a pick onto Sean the Ginger. Resurrection is there, there though, so no harm, no foul. Uh, looks like I kind of just trying to find a way in Sean the Ginger. Oh, the bomb is too high. To prove me wrong. Uh, getting so much work done on the Junkrat, that's higher and not the best I've seen, but in the neutral fight, Sean the Ginger has been able to get picks and shut people down left and right, that could be the right pick that I was sleeping on. Bob, really, really good boot from Muffin Pirate. Bob is just to hang out in the middle of nowhere and not get any down. Infinite are answering the Bob on their own is going to clear the point off here. As Rogue Knights are going to be able to get their way back into the fight, especially through a resurrection on the last round here. Uh, Jamini yet again with a pick. Ranch alone trying to touch, taking a bunch of damage, but the healing core on them might just be enough. A uh, Diva Bomb comes out, is going to take a Ranch Depressant who was too low to be able to do anything, but Resurrection is there. Can anybody touch? No! So that Resurrection might just be poorly timed and just feed a lot more L-Charge over onto the side of Rogue Knights. I think here, I kind of just hasn't gotten a good regroup just yet. They kind of keep staggering in one by one. And I said that you already take down Red Depressing. So Rogue Knights are looking like they could finish here with slightly higher time bank. Big jump is coming from Eldris trying to pressure the soldier of uh, J Money out. There's been such a lot of flesh. With a bit of help from Charlie Ginger, J Money is going to go down. Fullhog is going to be committed to take down that Rip Tire. And iconic noobs are must get struggling to get too much of a clean regroup here, but they finally have six men on point now. Uh, Eldritch taking a lot of damage. Muffin Pirate is going to go down to both teams, trading out the main tank. Sean the Ginger once again getting so much value in the neutral fight at the. Uh, 
Tech Visor is now going to be committed here on the side of J Money. Sean the Ginger with a mind kill on Jindro, absolutely unstoppable, making sure the very, very solid backline of Iconic Noobs uh, is unable to carry out everything that they've been able to do so far. And now it is full star territory here for Iconic Noobs. No time to wait for a regroup here as Pog is just desperately trying to keep everybody up, uh, zipping and super jumping their way around the point. Uh, Ranch is going to get trapped here and connect uh, Mafa Pirate with the Blanco to try to turn this around. The damage application is going to get taken up so early the bomb onto Infinite as well. The one kill pick potential of the Doof is no longer available on the side of oh, Iconic no, Noobs. And it looks like a very, very swift push on the side of Rogue Knights. Of course, they wait until map four to give us their best and closest map of the series so far. Uh, Rogue Knights are not going to go down without swinging just a little bit. Um, a quick storyline update, though. It looks like Throwing for Content have finally knocked their heads together and decided to, to focus down and focus some targets. And they are now trailing Bushido Banzai 1-2. to two. So Bushido Banzai still have the lead. It is still match point there, but uh, Throwing for Content not ready to give up their lead at the top of the table just yet. But if things... If they end up winning 3-2 and uh, Iconic Noobs end up winning 4-0, or even end up winning 3-1 uh, here, they will continue to extend their lead at the top of the table just by virtue of their map differential. Attackers incoming in 30 seconds. Yeah, it looks like Team Zero just... We gotta keep in mind that in Tier 2, we got... Looking from the KD schedule, there's only two games for us, so... Mm -hmm. Two, three games left, and we go into playoffs. Yeah, playoffs just around the corner kind of snuck up on us there. And so, Thrive oh, Content definitely. and Iconic Noobs are going to do everything Five, in their power four, to secure themselves three, the best seating two, possible one. as they head into Attackers playoffs. Incoming. Stop the pain. Oh, Oh, you oh, he just falls. The Nishan, really the is going to just kind of fall over. Both the tanks not coming up here. J Money rolling off the high ground, desperately trying to get to safety, and is going to work out, but not for Pog. Pog uh, is going to get destroyed by that gorilla there. As Muffin Pirate finding another pick on Sean the Ginger yet again. Yeah, that that res onto Sean the Ginger right in front of Ranch Pog. Yeah, and Infinite is going to win out in that duel against Eldritch with less than like 20 health remaining. Really, really good work to stay alive there. Where are they coming? Oh, they did come out again with the Mercy Brig. It did seem like they were doing really good last last attack round. But with this time with Muffin and Ranch on the ball hog, it'll be a little bit harder. Oh, Eldritch is going to get stunned up mid-dive here and is forced to back out. Sean the Ginger not finding nearly as much joy as they did last time they were attacking. Going to the first one down yet again. Iconic Noobs looking pretty clean, getting a lot of picks left, right, etc. But the cart is still moving forward. we got less than 45 seconds remaining now, Kitty. Drogon? Uh, winning the Mercy fight? Okay. Ay, ay, ay. Drogon with the blast route yet again. Looks a pretty solid map when here. Oh, sorry. Fight win here for iconic noobs. Uh, so 30 just seconds 30 seconds on the clock. Final seconds fight left. territory. Sean the Ginger Sean? blessing us okay. with the oh, attack no. bastion kitty. There it is. These are the map for shenanigans we sign up to see, chat. <laughs> they didn't have to deal with infinite and J Money having both. DPS holds here. Oh, and J Money. Yeah, J Money is going to fall over here, and it looks like Sean the Ginger is able to set up Infinite, unable to get anything done in that duplication mode. Uh, but, oh no, Buff Pirate is just going to run Sean the Ginger over with the whole hog. Bit of help here from Ranch Depression as well. Beezer with the rally could be the game changer here, turning everybody into a bit of a raid boss and dungeon master. Uh, Droga taking so much damage is able to really get mercy mechanics here to zip their way to safety. As uh, looks like Pog is just going to be able to stay alive on that break, and as long as the break is alive, iconic dudes have a fighting chance. These are getting punched out. This is going to be absolutely massive. Just to make break predictions here. Infinite is getting so much work done on that Doomfist. Already halfway to that ultimate as well. The Beast is able to find a pick on the Muffin Pirate. 
Oh, it's gonna take a double kill, it's just solo carrying and trying to turn this around. Eventually, it's going to get taken down. The hack is not going to come down. Arjun ran to pressure that's low. He's finding another pick. Just throwing out left here. Uh, just trying to stall the card out for a little bit longer. Just, oh, buddy. Uh, just there crouching behind the cart. I uh, remember it is over time, so no extra time is granted for completing a point push. The only advantage you get for completing that is better spawn points. Uh, four yeah. ultimates coming online for um, iconic noobs here if you count Pog's Rally Kitty. Yeah, here is just the. Raj could just have a really good mind and push everybody off the point. Especially with Infinite and both J Money coming. Having their ults online very, very soon. Yep, yeah, so to no surprise of anybody, Branch is going to commit the Mines here. Beezer! Oh no, he's going to get Beezer's, taken oh down no. mid rally, and That's the Mines are getting so much work done. Infinite with the kill onto Eldritch as well. Demon Mom comes out, taking out young Drogon here. And it's just Val and uh, Gravity desperately left trying to uh, stall the corner. Oh no, and the 5v5 is going for you, Gravity, there. Yeah, it looks pretty solid fair. defensive display from uh, Iconic Noobs cool. who now have two and a half minutes to push the cart 29 meters. Um, for those Americans in chat that don't understand what a meter is, allow me to help. 29 meters is about, um, I don't know how much it is in football fields, but I can tell you how much it is in cheeseburgers stacked. Um, I'll also find what? out how much it is in... Uh, Empire State Building length. That's how Americans like calculate their heights. You know what I'm saying? Oh, it's the length of 40 Empire State Ready Buildings laid battle. side to side. Americans will do anything before switching over. It's it's like yeah, it's like four Slim Jims tied together. You know, Kitty. <laughs> before they actually switch to the metric system, you mean? It's ridiculous, bro. Attackers oh incoming. my god. Listen, Kitty, the series has been decided. We're at map four, so I'm I'm just going to be unhinged and rip on Americans for a little bit. That's fine. I mean, you were just, you were here not too long ago, so. It's okay. <laughs> yes, that is hey, true. What I is was there, you're doing? and I do sound American, but don't be confused, Chad. I am not definitely anything but an American. Uh, so it what? looks like rogue knights Please. here are trying to spawn camp. What? Kitty, hello? Oh, hello? Oh, okay, early ball coming through just to buy themselves an extra seven seconds. And your gravity just is going to touch the spawn door very briefly. Oh, I, I have flashbacks of this. They did this to us. Well, and it's oh, working! No. Oh my goodness! Sean the Ginger isn't going to, to go down, but so is Muffin Fire nice and early on. Uh, last round on the maze, we just do everything in their power to just branch and uh, their ability to just roll through with impunity. But Infinite getting a 2k? And Paw getting gravity? Oh my goodness, it could be Beezers on point, it could be false J money. So it looks like Drogon and, and Pog are just able to switch between flex and main supports. At a flip of a switch, and now uh, Drogon back over onto that Mercy. I, I, I believe Wait, there's a... Wait, what just happened? <laughs> I believe there's an agreement between them to let themselves shine in the in what they think is the best way to get the MVP rolls possible. So Drogon and Pog just uh, switching it around whenever they can. Infinite very Either close to or... Barrage already, Kitty. Either that or one of them just out of luck's mercy. <laughs> and this aggressiveness from Iconic Dudes is really paying off. They can pick up the thing. Rogue Knight is. Mines over here onto the back line is going to be brutal as well. Iconic noobs are looking pretty clean. Less than a minute remaining now, and this is going to be a struggle for Rogue Knights to get here in time, I think. Uh, they're going to yeah. have a little bit of extra time because the gate takes like 10 seconds to open. Uh, but if anybody gets picked off now, it might as well be an early GG's for Rogue Knights. So they have to exercise a lot of discipline. And Sean the Ginger desperately trying to keep out of trouble. The healing pad coming in very, very clutch here. Um, as it looks like Rogue Knights are going to be able to regroup for a final fight. 
Both decks here just don't have really any ultimate except the Justice the Mercy ult, but she falls already. <laughs> Every ult from Pog by coming out here is going to make so Rogue Knight's lives even more difficult as Pog is here with a trap set <laughs> just to flex on everybody. Diva Bob comes and out, but just it. celebratory fireworks at this point as iconic noobs lock down this win 4 0 against Rogue Knights. Play of the game. Area oh. I've never heard that. Mr. Tech Boy, the score has been successfully updated. Yeah, that 4 0 victory to Iconic Noobs. I would just wait for those So MVP that secures themselves um, at the top of the table. Once again, whether or not it is a clean uh, top of the table or it's decided by map record is yet to be decided, as throwing for content uh, is still in the midst of a. <laughs> bit of a slog fest against Bushido Banzai who refused to go down nice and easy. Uh, so either way, throwing for content are going to be second, Iconic News will be first. Uh, we're just going to wait to see uh, in exactly what manner that plays out. So, um, Kitty, I think we should give Bleem one map, the one map MVP. <laughs> the one map honorable mention mm -hmm. for playing this one trick. Well, he did play Diva too, so... Never mind, not playing. No, this no, he is didn't. Every time wh wh I saw Bleem not in the segment, I shut my eyes. I, I cast it with my eyes closed <laughs> because I couldn't bear to see Bleem on anything but that. Uh, so, as we wait for some MVP nominations to come in, I just want to highlight Drogon and Pog's performances. Two very, very good support players switching between the flex and main roles at ease. Pog showing us a lot of work on the Lucio as well, which is. A, a, you know, a hero that a lot of times doesn't get the love it should deserve, right? But uh, Pog made it work, but Drogon playing the Ana and the Zen was just on, on on a next level, Kitty. Well, I mean, but still, I gotta give it... <sighs> Drogon did play really, really good. His mercy is always, you know, I always love seeing his mercy. His Ana is spectacular, those nades and sleep darts, especially onto uh, Shauna Jindra when he was ulting in Volskaya with the visor. Mm -hmm. But Pog, like, I feel like it will have to go to Pog. Just because Busan, there was the last fight, in that second round, he booped, I think he booped someone. I think one of the main off tanks. Yes, he booped the Zarya. And I feel like it's, yeah, I feel like that's what helped him get that victory. And along with his Zen, even his Mercy had really good reses. And even right now in Dorado, he played a little bit of Brig. And he kind of slightly out Brig Beezer just by a little bit. That's fair. I think it's an extremely fine margin, but I think you've convinced me, Kitty. So the support MVP, yeah, I think I think we'll end up giving it to Pog then. Finally, Pog. And he did play really good, even if he, you know, not saying that the DPS didn't play good, but Pog also on DPS, being able to flex onto that role, he could literally just get the MVP for both roles. Or just match MVP. <laughs> fair. Um, and, uh, so we'll move on to the DPS lineup. Uh, what are we thinking here, Kitty? DPS? <sighs> we had J-Money, Shonda Ginger, Kangu, Sans, LaCroix, Last Brown, Pog. Well, we can't give it to Pog because we already got support. Last Brown hitting a lot of good plays on Sombra. Shonda Ginger on... Junkrat, Soldier, I think they played... What else did they play? They were mainly playing Soldier on Volskaya. Jamiani, of course, on his debut, having really good plays as Ash. I think it has to go to an Iconic News player, just because of how dominant they were. I think uh, I would like to give Sean the Ginger a shout-out for the Junkrat player on Dorado, but for me, LaCroix takes it. Uh, they LaCroix? were just very consistent, very dependable, very solid, and able to pop off without feeding, and I think that's absolutely massive. <laughs> pop off without feeding? Are you saying that Jay Bunny was feeding? No, but it's just like, <laughs> a lot of times with DPS players, you either get like really safe 
players that don't die, but like, and the players that create big plays are the ones that die early on just because they're taking risks. But I think that, you know, I think that Lacroix was able to find that balance quite well. Okay, and yeah, and Lacroix is the nomination for from Rogue Knights. I did see that. And on the side of iconic noobs, I believe I really liked Ranch, Ranch's display. Um, I think it's pretty close with the two of them as well, but I think Ranch just edges it. Yeah, those ball plays, and I think he mainly played ball, and Winston as well. And even so, Hog at the end to count, try and counter that dive from the Rogue Knights. So yeah, I can definitely see it going to Ranch. Alright, so it's going to be Ranch, LaCroix, and Pog, Kitty, unless we have any uh, protestations. No? That sounds good to me. All right, and it's going to be no interviews tonight, as uh, Kitty and I have a thing to be at. Um, it's also oh, yeah. 1.30 p.m. here in Australia, so I do have to go out and be an adult for the rest of the day. Uh, so, we have Iconic Noobs taking the win of 4-0 against the Rogue Knights in a very convincing display. They go clean top at the top of the table. Um... We still have a game going on at uh, twitch.tv slash Overwatch Oasis Stream 2 as um, Bushido Banzai are up against throwing for content. Uh, your MVPs for the evening are Ranch, are Amelia LaCroix, and Pog with an honorable mention towards Young Drogon. I'm Charles Tang, joined by Red Hood Kitty tonight. Thank you so much. Good night. Good night.